before you run Metasploit, it's best to actually start a PostgreSQL database, which stands for initialize. So we are starting the database. And the reason why this is important is because when you perform attacks or, you know, post exploitation or whatever it is, or let's say you're doing an MAP scan, there's actually a specific command that you can use on Metasploit that actually stores the information on Metasploit. So look, let me, let me show you what, what I mean. So now that that started, check this out. Running MAP, we run DB MAP, and then we do the result, the attack or whatever. So uh, the scan. So if we do 192, I'm just doing my router, but as you can see, it's going through and scanning my modem. Now you probably think, oh no, the MAP scan's gone. The scan results are gone because I didn't save it in a text file. You don't need to do that. All you need to do now is just type in services. And then it's gonna go ahead and bring the previous results of the MAP scan that you did on Metasploit that's stored in the database on the Postgres local database that you have set up with Metasploit and it just dumps it for you and it looks a lot cleaner.